What is up, everybody? Jay Nell here with my UFC Fight Night 106 in uh, Fortaleza, Brazil. Uh, recap video. I hope you saw it. Like I said before, all the Brazilian events are great, and this one was just as good. Let's get into it. I got five and a half out of six. So nice rebound from the pay-per-view. Uh, I got like one out of five. So five and a half out of six. Let's get into it. First up, I chose Alex Cowboy Oliveira to beat Tim Means, and he did. Although this was an extremely competitive fight. You can argue that Tim Means won the first round. They were going back and forth. He was one pushing the pace, moving forward, even though Alex was able to mount some kind of offense, backpedaling and moving backwards the whole time. But then Team Act Tim actually took him to the ground. Nice ground and pound. So the first round, you could say, went to Tim Means. The second round was not more of the same, though. Alex, again, was able to, he was first. He was able to mount his offense first. He was able to take Tim down some ground and pound. Tim was able to get back up, but he stayed on his back, drug him back down to the ground while still keeping the back control got his hooks in rear naked choke tap tap winner Alex Cowboy Vieira, uh, Alvira, who would you like to see him fight next? Next up this was my half pick because I chose Betch Cohera to beat Mary Rennell and it was a majority draw so I count that as a half <laughs> to see how this went. So the first two rounds went the same. They both went to Betch Cohera. She just outstruck her. She was first. She landed first. She landed cleaner. Uh, it seemed like she even got stronger as the fight was going on. I didn't think the third round was going to go the way it did. She even stunned her a couple times in that second round, was able to take her down to the crown, hold the body control up against the fence. So the first two rounds went to Betch. Now it wasn't uh, super dominant, but it was clearly her. The second round or third round though, she got taken down by Marion and Marion almost ended her she got the crucifix out for a long time elbows punches flush unblocked to the face uh drew blood in every which way she almost finished in fact i believe she got that round by two which is why we saw the majority draw so i i'm not mad at it so who would you like to see both women fight next if not each other let me know uh mary renault and betch coher who would you like to see them fight next now next up i got this pick as well i let's see where am i wasn't there six pick oh I, I knew I, I was forgetting a fight. This is the fight that I really didn't see because I started doing stuff. <laughs> I, I didn't see this fight, but I know I got my pick. I chose Ray Borg to beat um, Azucier Formiga. It was the decision in favor of Ray Borg and I didn't see the fight. So someone let me know how that went. I started cooking and doing stuff. I, I didn't watch that fight, my bad. So someone let me know how that went. Who would you like to see Ray Borg fight next? Next up, came back. Came back, of course, for my boy, Edson Barbosa, against my other boy, Benil Dariush. And I picked Edson Barbosa and, Barbosa, and boy, did he win. This ended in the first, or in the second round. Although, again, you can make the argument that Benil won the first. He came out first. He was one pushing the pace, one moving forward. I believe he connected first. He threw Edson off his game. Every time Edson tried to mount his offense, he would attack him. He was moving forward. So, again, you can make the uh, uh, case that Benil actually won the first round second round though um edson quickly found that range found his group and he was able to disrupt benil's offense with his hands again mark henry and frankie edgar and them up there are we are seeing some serious improvement with edson barbosa's striking we saw that here his striking game opened up his kicks and a perfectly timed knee he timed benil coming in landed with a clean knee to the face Poof. sleep Knocked him all the way out, straight back. <laughs> okay, great win for Edson Barbosa. Who would you like to see him fight next? He's like on a four fight winning streak, two ex champs in that winning streak. It's time for him to start barking for a lightweight title shot, although I don't know if he'll get it. But it's time for him to start barking. Now, co main event, I chose Mauricio Shogun who would to beat John Vellante, and he did. This was a good fight. This ended in the third round. There was ebbs and flows throughout the entire fight. They both were tagging each other to stay it kept uh stayed mostly standing, although I did feel like it was Mauricio who was getting more comfortable, who was getting the cleaner shots, whose movement looked a little bit better uh as the fight progressed. And in the third round it was um it was Mauricio who struck first. First, he stunned him in the middle of the octagon, and then he proceeded to lay a whole combination, working the head and body, head and body, completely unblocked. Then he kind of stepped away for a minute, and then John like felt the effects. He was like, Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> it was like a cartoon. And then he came back out of Mauricio Shogun, that is, pushed him back up against the cage, landed again, and literally beat John down to the ground. Ref stopped the fight. Great win for Mauricio Shogun, who 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 has his resurgence. He's looking good. He can still compete. He's looking good. So who would you like to see Shogun fight next? Now, main event, and I got this pick as well. I chose Kelvin Gaslam to beat Vito Belfort, and I knew he would, but I didn't think he was going to beat him in the first round. I thought it would last a little bit longer than that. It was
this competitive first round video was definitely in this i knew he wouldn't he did he wasn't going to try to blow his low but he had to be aggressive he had to be first and he tried it's just that kelvin gaslam was faster than him not just with his hand speed but movement as well although he did get tagged like i said vita was in this but it was kelvin who actually tagged him with the most uh devastating blows first first he caught him with the two-piece and then another two-piece right behind it and that last punch just clean to the face knocked him on his butt then he jumped on top of him ground and pound Vita threw the legs up was able to tie him up and stand back up to the roars of the Brazilian crowd and then he even kind of beat him back across the cage for a second they were like uh oh we're in a fight and then uh Kelvin connected with another two piece and then uh the like two shots later on the ground the ref stopped the fight and you got the feeling the ref was like that's enough old boy he even like patted him on his on his stomach he's like that's enough old boy <laughs> So great win for Kelvin Gastelum, who's now barking for a title shot. I don't know if he'll get it, but go ahead and start barking. Who do you think he should fight next? Uh, yeah, so let me know how you did. It was a great event. Like I told you, do not miss the Brazilian events. Let me know how you did on your picks, any injury updates. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, I'm on Snapchat now. Subscribe, like, talk to me, take care, and goodbye.